welcome back to the Chit Chat Box with Nerica and Veronica. And today we got a special guest. Who we got, B? We got Brian Boy from B Boy Clothing Company and his favorite side good man girl, Jessica. B Girl Clothing. What's up, y'all? What's happening? How we doing, man? How we how we doing? How we feeling? Right, we're doing something a little different from the normal because of the coronavirus, so we're doing social distancing, so now we found a new way to interview our, our people, so. Uh, yeah, 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 you gotta stay, uh, gotta stay technology. You know? Absolutely, you know? we see you got it together. I yeah, think man, you spoke, man. I think you spoke this into existence with you and your facial mask. You brought, you brought <laughs> this upon us. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know nothing, you know, we just, we just try to stay healthy and positive and, you know, make it through these tough times, you know. So, I've been wanting to ask you a question, like, how does it make you feel knowing that you really started the face mask thing? How does it make you feel now knowing that everybody across the world now is following your footsteps with making these masks? I mean, it's, it's a crazy feeling. I haven't really even thought about it, honestly, but I mean, it's, you know, to be the, the first to, you know, actually design fashionable, you know, face masks, you know, to the public is, you know, it's a, it's a big task that, you know, I've actually worked, you know, like I said, since our last interview, you know, it was at 2018, you know, um, when I was first setting things up and, you know, people was laughing at me, you know, like, and, and the mm -hmm. funny thing is I'm just glad that actually everybody's waking up to, you know, that, that we're all, you know, we're all one, man, and, you know, Everybody should stay safe, and, and I always pay attention to TV, you know. <laughs> Don't like fake news fully, you know. <laughs> so as far as, like, your face, your your mask, what is different with your mask versus all the other ones that are being made? Um. Well, basically, mine is the same as, uh, you know, they call the N95 uh, medical mask. Um, they got a mask around here. Oh, yeah, and it has the... Uh, the medical grade filters, you know, that come installed into the, the fabric as well, which makes it, you know, medical grade use. And also uh, um, a good plus is they are gentle machine washable, you know, so it's not like the, you know, medical mask, you use it once, twice, you have to throw it away. And, you know, and that's one of the benefits as well. And also has the bar, you know, the nose bar that holds, you know, everything in place, which I think it's mostly an advantage, you know, when, and that's what hurts me too when they say, you know, on news, don't use cloth mask and things of the criteria, you know, we're not talking not only just cloth mask, you know, we're talking the, you know, the interfacing filters as well, you know, is what we're distributing. So it's kind of a double, double plus compared to the medical mask. But I've I just like to get that up. <clears throat> I've seen them made in so many different ways. I've seen janky jank. I didn't see professional. I didn't see somebody make them out of a fluffy sock. Dog, I've, I've seen, seen the fluffy one too. Did I you saw see the, the fluffy sock one? I said, hell no. She just took a sock and made a mask. She had it on her face. I said, wow. <laughs> that is innovative. <laughs> but you came up with that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I'm glad, you know, it, it inspires me. And, you know, it's flattering to see other people, you know, get involved and, you know, and I just spoke with the, I had a, a conversation with Governor Bashir uh, yesterday, you know, about working out of, you know, incentive, you know, my business and, you know, working out ways that we can make masks and give them to, you know, hospitals and, you know, the general public, you know, that's my main concern because, you know, most masks is coming in now that the millions are mostly going to hospitals, you know, uh, nursing homes and people that's in, you know, essential jobs. So, I'm really trying to fight for the, you know, people out here that's wearing bandanas, his masks, you know, looking like gang members, and you know, and I'm just trying to keep everybody on the positive <laughs> note, you know, through these hard times. But yeah, it's definitely, I'm definitely um, looking to make well, a, a more impact. So what you been up to since the last time we saw you? I know the last time we saw you, you were at a fashion show doing your thing. So what have you been doing since then? Oh man, yeah. Uh, you want to get the shoe? Yeah, I just had a um, a shoe launch. You know, I just had a brand new tennis shoe, the um, the B Maxes. You know, okay. um, yeah, that that that's in store. Um, my fact, my girl, she got the, she got prototype now. You know, I know she can't wait to show them. B girl, Let she me got. See. We want to see. Can we see? Can we see? 
When can we expect these, big girl? You might get a sneak peek. Um, oh. Merrick, you know, our show, you know, I had the fashion show set up for, uh, you know, this year, April, that we was all supposed to attend and do, which was going to be big. But um, I guess we can show some you know. Yeah, these straight from Italy. They're uh, Italian leather. Okay, yeah, look at them. How shiny. You can put those together, big girl. You know, yes. Them is straight from Italy, though. You know, we got the logo. So, so how, so how can people? So how can people get them? Oh my! Uh, you can get them on the website. Um, What's the website, BB? It's uh www thirteen thirteen oy clothing dot com. Yeah, you can definitely get them there, and you know we get discounts and stuff, and. I'm, I'm uh, waiting to debut those pretty soon, you know, so I have a lot in store for, for the year coming up. You know, definitely. Yeah. So somebody's so been are, busy. So are you selling your mask? Yeah. Um, they're on look the, at, web, they're on how, the website as well. Look how dope the box is. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Did you design the box too? <laughs> yeah, definitely designed the box, you know. That's one of the best parts. The best. <laughs> yeah, I'm but in yeah, the car. I'm it. getting ate up by bugs. <laughs> it's because you got the light on. <laughs> yeah, find, find my mask at, uh, like I said, the website, www, you know, w 1313 oy clothing. I got new designs that's coming soon. Can you people know, get I'll custom wear. orders made, like if they don't see something they already like on your website? Yeah, yeah, we can do custom orders, um, you know, just by email, email us, and we can definitely work it out because uh, I have mass orders coming in, and, you know, we're, we're going to catch up with the with the demand right now. Look at this one. For those folks that aren't, like, tuned into maybe the internet, ooh, how pretty. That is really pretty. That's is that gorgeous. like a silky fabric? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the brocade ooh. with satin, this pink brocade. That's, That's so going pretty. really good. A happy customer, Roy. Hey, I like it. Ooh. No, but for people that can't get on like a website to do it, because there are some of those people out there that might want or need your mask and don't know how to do internet, shmummy. Um, how do they? How can they get a hold of you? Do you have a phone number they can reach out to, or is it all email based? Yeah, uh, you can reach me at eight one two nine eight seven seven nine eight five. Um, I'm definitely on Instagram at I am B dot boy um, Facebook uh, as well, um, and them are the main channels, you know, and and avenues. Uh, What's your email? Emails uh B dot boy clothing co at gmail dot com. Yes, definitely reach out for those. Um, and we have, like I said, two shoes dropping, and just can't wait for everybody to catch up and get the outfits with the matching mask so we can get moving. With hey, once, so once Corona, once we get Corona gone, and Corona is gone far away from her, what yeah, are your plans you next? Huh? Yeah. You said the what? I'm sorry. What, what are your plans next after the coronavirus? Oh, man. Uh, after that, we're going to just fight basically, uh, you know, with the uh, everything going going 100% organic, vegan, you know, uh, Nothing's been industrialized, you know, for uh, kids and children. And we're going to push the new product I have coming out, you know, uh, it's a protein snack, you know, that's 100% organic, you know, and we're just going to push on everything health, you know. And, so and are you the, vegan now? No. <laughs> no, I can't lie about that. Um, you know, <laughs> but, but what's funny, though, the shoes are uh, like the leather is 100% vegan leather. You know, okay, like, see, my daughter, my daughter won't buy real leather. She buy, she's a vegan, so yeah, I turn her yeah. on to you. Like she probably be your number one customer. Yeah, absolutely. So that's you know, just using stuff that's that's more organic, you know, than than that helps the environment with this than the more that hurts. But yeah, I still have to have my, you know pork chop for steak here and there, you know. But you know, I definitely eat eat, eat as healthier than I used to for sure, for sure. Why she staying but, off camera? Tell her get on camera. <laughs> She's staying around the, the sewing machine. Why are you See, trying to hat? This, this, this is his interview, not mine. It's both <laughs> of y'all interviews. No, it's okay. 
Yeah, she being nervous. I'm shy. It's, it's like, okay. <laughs> Well, we got you on there for a few seconds anyway, so. Hey. <laughs> so what sizes are, what are the, the, what, what are the smallest size shoes that, I mean, are you going to have kid sizes or? Yeah, uh, kid sizes, um, I think the smallest is five, uh, you know, five to, five to 13 right now is the sizes that we have available. Um, and I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to making, you know, kid sizes, um, just like the kids' mask, you know, like Barack and I have the kids' mask available, you know, for certain sizes. It took me to find out everybody's face ain't the same sizes. So, you know, we had to, had to make different sizes for different people stuff, you know, people with size noses like mine. But, <laughs> yeah, hey, I think I had the same problem because I bought a couple masks from B-Boy Clothing Company uh, this week. And when I asked you what sizes, you asked me what sizes, I didn't know what to tell them. You know, I've never bought a mask before. So those of you that may not know your mask size, because I did not, I had him pick them out for me. But I can tell you, BB, my nose must have the same problem as yours. Because when I put the medium size on, which might have fit my face, but apparently it's yeah. too round, um, it pulled my ears so I look like a little elf. And it, <laughs> I, I was looking like this. I'm not kidding you. It was like this. And I said, I must have too big of a nose or something like the circumference isn't working. So I put it on Damani. And it fits, his, it fits his little round face pretty well. But I had to put on a large one because of my schnoz, I think. So you got the Pinocchio problem. If you got a big old schnoz, you might have to get you a large. Not maybe because you got a big face, but if this thing stick out a little farther, you might need a large. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's my feedback. <laughs> I, I want one. I want a mask, but I want man with all diamonds. You want that? Oh, all diamonds? She all said, right. but she has me. <laughs> you want, you you want, want all diamonds? No, I, I'm, de I'm dead serious. I want all diamonds. Oh, uh, okay. You want a bazooka to go in it too? You got it. Somebody <laughs> might tell you. <laughs> you to but, you know, not too. real diamonds, but like I want the, the little gems like all over it. Okay. All right. Yeah, Can you make him like that, that baby? No, no, man. I mean, you know, you know, zirconians. We can start some, you know, start little. You wow, know, <laughs> I'm telling yeah, you, I would I put diamonds. I, I have diamonds all over. I've we been suffocated because I can't breathe through the mask. <laughs> 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 what happened to Mister Miss Starks? Well, we think it was the jewels. <laughs> She suffocated herself. She didn't realize she couldn't breathe enough through it, and she gave herself an Ooh. oxygen deficiency. <laughs> Super fashion, high fashion. Uh, hey, but her man was cute though. <laughs> she she died went out in style. <laughs> Can't tell her nothing. <laughs> so again, tell tell the people how they can view your clothing, how they can take a peek at those shoes if they want to purchase. Tell them again how they could reach you on all platforms. Yes, yes. Most little everything you can find of my material clothes will be on the website at www1313 oyclothing.com. That's a one three and a one three clothing.com. And also Instagram, uh most socials, Instagram, I am B boy B dot boy, uh Facebook, um Cash App PayPal. We do um, Square, um, most major credit cards, um, you know, all the hustlers, you have cash, you know, we can work out. Pa pa Facebook Messenger, you know, we can do it all. It, it works out. <laughs> but, yeah, that's definitely it. And the shoes will be dropping sometime late fall, 2020, September. Let me okay. ask you this. So we know your fashion show got pushed back from your – April, it probably would be transpiring very soon, actually, right? If it was going to happen, yeah, do you anticipate yeah. when are you kind of just waiting for the coronavirus to get the heck out so you can kind of establish when you want to re reboot uh, that idea? Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, like I said, people are you know, people are out of work and you know, unemployed, and you know, it's really, really down for people, you know, entertainment stuff. But you know, once I see they find out about the derby, you know, stuff like the derby and uh, thunder and get that. So I think it'll be somewhere around that time, you know, close to fall. But that'd be pretty epic. I want to yeah. be a part of it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 
Look at I pretty Nikki signing out. Yes, sir. You staying busy. <laughs> I've been seeing you staying busy, man. Like you got your own photographers now, or what? Like you, I mean, you doing big things. I see for sure. Buzz. Nah, not really. <laughs> Coronavirus and put a halt on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. But it, it won't put the fire out, you know, and that's just like showing us every day, you know, doing interviews and stuff. That's, that's what it's all about. You know, everybody supporting it and pushing forward. Mm -hmm. and, and and the next, you know, this is the, like they say, a minor, minor, a minor fallback for a major comeback. The minor setback for a major yeah. comeback. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we'll see. We that's fall with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're doing, man. You know, this fast show's going to be lit, for sure. I guarantee you that. And I guarantee you, know, it gives everybody so, time. So, do you know where the venue, I mean, do you know where you're going to have it at, where the fashion show's going to be at? Uh, Yeah, it'd be at the God House. Um, the God House in Louisville. Like I said, it was originally uh, April. Uh, April 11th is usually when it was. But here's the fly. Like flyers just came in. Oh, uh, that's that stinks. So you already got your flyers. They're still dope. Good job on your flyers. But I mean, we gonna you know we gonna push for it. You know, uh, DJ Stacy Broadway is gonna be the DJ on the ones and twos. And, that's you dope. Know, um, yeah, everybody set up designers. You know, Keon Carr. I got a few designers. You know, from. Hey, Nerica's a fan of her. So now. <laughs> Now you're gonna have to redo the flyers for a different day and you gotta make sure you put pretty inky on there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can handle that. You know, it's I'm glad I didn't make the posters yet too. I'm glad it didn't even come in. So yeah. so you're gonna be able to post this as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're gonna have a coronavirus edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mask all. I want, I want to, I want to play Future the rapper, see if he can play the Mask Off song. But I don't know. We'll see if it's in the budget. See if it's in the hey, budget. Hey, that'd be dope, though. <laughs> ah, flip that. You should get the little dudes that made a song out of coronavirus. Coronavirus. It is getting real. And you could have it. You know, they come in and you got everybody putting a mask on. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and drink Coronas, you know. Yep. And, 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 <laughs> nah, nah. nah <laughs> For sure. But yeah, we're gonna have a blast though. It's gonna be definitely gonna be making history right now. You know, everybody just staying focused in these hard times. So stay the fuck home. For sure. So, man. so what do you know out of out of I mean everything that could have happened? Coronavirus came, and the one thing that you that was your signature is now a hit, a mask, like. I was like, when I first met you, I was like, what's wrong with him? Why he got on a mask? I was like, his immune system must be weak. And right. now you was just making a statement. Now everybody, everybody got masks on. Like, I bet you never guessed that Not you me. would wake up and see the whole country with masks on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, literally think about how many people got on your mask. Man. Yeah. That's, that's the crazy part. You know, like, I, that's, that's what's. That's the most thrilling, you know, and, and it makes makes sense about why I do everything for it. You know, it just puts the perfect puzzle pieces together, like, you know, and it makes you feel great, you know, because, you know, once people finally wake up and see, like, hold on, like, they're really up to something over here, you know, and you don't need, like, main media or, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, once you do stuff, the truth is going to come out eventually, you know. You can be working in your office, you know, 10 hours a day by yourself, and nobody's going to see, but eventually, it's going to come out, you know, once you walk out to the world, you're like, holy shit, where the hell did they come from with this, you know, and then, and that's, that's basically what we did, you know, two years in the making, you know, eventually for them to catch on, you know, but, hey. The time you know, of the season for everything. Yes. I yes. started from the bottom, now we're here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lit up, for sure, and, you know, I'm just happy to see where we're going from here, you know, most definitely, and, you know, like I said, man, work out, you know, hopefully, you know, make some big moves and, you know, stimulus packs and trying to make, you know, make way for everybody's small businesses. And that's, that's what it's all about. You know, I'm trying to get the middle class up to the rich class, you know. Sure. No more middle, rich and poor, you know, which one you want to be. You know? 
That's that's where we headed to, man. You know, no more line, please. please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, man. I appreciate y'all, man. You know, still doing what y'all do in the business and keeping everybody inspired, man. You know, just to keep driving forward and, you know, and putting up with, you know, cabin fever, you know, in the house as long as I've ever been in the house in my life. You know, I was like, damn, this is this the same cut. You know, you see the you see the sewing machines. I'm in the sweatshop area right now. You know, I got this. You know, everybody, you know, everybody dealing with, man, with stress. So, you know, I just appreciate you, job, man. You know, for, for definitely. I think definitely it's, we appreciate you. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We didn't really, we've just kind of figured out how to make it work to where we can keep the wave going. So thank you for riding it with us. And we'll be back, y'all. Chit Chat Box is not dead. Yes. No, Hey. Thank y'all for tuning in. We got our uh, what we are remote. We are remote, and we are virtual, <laughs> and we are social distancing. You see this? You see how we did this? Look, I can give you a kiss, and give you a kiss, and you a hug, and you a hug, <laughs> and we all still run a free. <laughs> yes, man. Twenty twenty. Go get your mask, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Okay. Go get your mask from him. Um, yeah. Check him out on all social media platforms. Be looking out for his fashion show. Um, he's doing big things, and hopefully we can do a collaboration. Pretty inky. Absolutely. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all, too. Best wishes and love. Thank get you. Up. Stay safe. Thank you. <laughs>